Good morning. One of the most popular dive sites, if not the most popular dive site on Guam, is the Blue Hole, which is located right here on Guam, just south of the Rodi Point Peninsula. It's estimated that at least 75 to 120 divers converge on this spot every morning between 9.30 and 10.15. So if you want to come here and have it all by yourself, get here early. Now, if you're one of those that like to dive with the masses, get there about 10 a.m. You're going to see a whole bunch of boats above you and divers all around you. I'd suggest start counting them, because the Blue Hole is a very popular dive site. But the best time is when you've got the Blue Hole all to yourselves. When I go, go into the Blue Hole, uh, before getting the Blue Hole, I can see everything in a very good visibility. But when I get, uh, get in the Blue Hole, it's getting darker, but uh, go down, I can see the opening to the outside. It's so mysterious. The entrance is at 60 feet, and you can easily see the large window below you. You've got to be very aware of your depth and time, as the 125-foot depth coming out limits both of these. So some divers just stay inside the hole, and others go out and up the wall. There's quite a few cracks and openings in the walls, which make perfect hiding places or, in the case of this turtle, a place to rest. Typical of current-fed terrain, there are two completely different types of large corals out here. This branchy-looking one is actually black coral, and it's only found in Guam in very deep waters. Gorgonian fans line the faces of the walls, all spread out to catch tiny plankton as it moves by. Look closely and you can see their tiny polyp tentacles extended. Very deep, there are some huge ones. I like to stay uh, in inside. There's uh, many many things to see on the wall. When I swim along the side, I can see beautiful small fans. Sea lip. It looks like a long tail sticking up. If you roll over and look up, you'll soon realize that this is a very different and special dive. The rock formations inside the Blue Hole are breeding grounds for a wide variety of marine life. All you got to do is take the time to look. Inside the upper part of the hole are some perfect hiding places. We've seen numerous lionfish, white mouth mores, cleaner shrimp, and even a large puffer. Heading about a hundred yards south from the Blue Hole, you'll find a colorful little fish called the Square Spot Basslet. And there's absolutely no doubt where it gets its name. Often overlooked by divers just below the Blue Hole top, the wall ducks under the opening and in it are hundreds of soldier fish, some of them swimming upside down, because they think the top is the bottom. So what do all these bubbles do when they get to the top? After the break, we'll tell you. <laughs> 